Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. God said it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is now high time to awake out of sleep. You Mexicans are asleep in this land, running around thinking you Mexican. You're not Mexican. You're from the tribe of Issachar. You're from the tribe of Issachar, and you lost your nationality in slavery. Right. We've been divided in slavery. Right. But God is calling us back to unite as a nation. The Lord is calling the men to stand up to fight for our people. That's right. Once the men get in line, the women is going to get in line. But you can't get in line with smoking cigarettes. You understand that? Throw the cigarette away, bro, because it's, it's sin. Want me to read it to you real quick? Watch this. First Corinthians real quick. I got to show you this real quick. You should throw it away, bro. Okay. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not. Hey, hold on, sis. Sis, give me five more minutes. I got you. Five more minutes. Trust me. You're not going to regret what I'm going to show you. Watch this, read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So, Jose, the Bible says that you are the temple of God, meaning your body. Read on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So God's spirit is supposed to dwell in the so-called blacks and Hispanics because we're his chosen people. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. But if you're defiling your temple, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, crack, whatever you're using, Putting in your body that's not supposed to be there, God cannot dwell in that temple. So when you can't dwell in something like an abandoned building, what are they going to do to that abandoned building that can't be, that's, uh, in, they're going to knock it down? Brother, Jose, when, you, when God can't dwell in your temple, this is what he's going to do. Him shall God destroy. So when you defile your temple, God is going to kill you. That's what he's saying. If God can't dwell in you because you're an Israelite, brother, you're God's chosen people. You're not supposed to be smoking cigarettes. You got to be an example to the children, to these young men that's out here gangbanging and selling drugs. You've been down that route, I can tell. You got to be an example, bro. You, it's time to change. The tribe of Issachar. You're the tribe of Issachar, so you know you're an Israelite. Yeah. You know it. I've been locked up. And but I guess what? Okay then, but you got to put the cigarettes down because the Lord is going to bring death to you if you don't. You understand? We know it's not easy to just give up, but guess what? You gotta come around your brothers. You understand that? Come around your brothers so we can help build you up, so we can put you in a better state. You understand that? So we can help you push to do better. You understand? Because hanging around your old guys, stuff like that, ain't gonna get you nowhere, bro. Right. You gotta come around brothers that been through it and that changed already. That's right. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Hey, brother. Hey, you right here, bro, in the black shirt. Right, what's his name? Uh, hey, well, ask him his name. I'm talking to him. What's your name, bro? Rachel. Who? Rachel. Rachel? Come here. Come here, bro. No, come right here on this side. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this, Richard. Watch this. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. You speak English? Good English? Not really? You don't speak good English? Okay, watch this. She does. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. You speak English, sis? Yeah. Good? Come here real quick. What? Come here real quick. I want to ask you something. Yeah. You believe in the God, right? You believe in the Bible. What's your nationality? Exactly. No, that's a religion. Oh. Many of your race, what you, Mexican, oh, yeah, Puerto Rican? Mexican. Mexican, okay, okay. I want you to tell me, you and Jose, y'all speak good English. I want y'all to tell me what this means right here. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. What, what did he say? Above all people. What did he say? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did, did anybody ever read that to you? So, it just said that a race of people is what? Above what? You didn't hear that part? Read that bottom part again. You, you paying attention. Listen good, sis. Listen to this last part. I don't understand the Bible for real. I don't read the Bible. 
No, I want you to listen to it though. But let, we're gonna read it to you and we're gonna explain it to you. But I want you to listen good to what it's saying, and then I want you to tell me what you your, what you think it's saying. You understand? And well, we gonna help you out. Read it again. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said that there's a race of people that's above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You understand that? So it's one race that's above all other races in the eyesight of God. God feels different about this race of people. Let's read the whole thing again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So who is God talking about? You so-called Mexicans. You so-called Puerto Ricans. He's not talking about everybody because the bottom verse said that you are above all people upon the face of the earth. That can't be talking about everybody. That's talking about one race of people. You Mexicans, you Puerto Ricans, you Guatemalans, you so-called African Americans, you are the people that's above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Sister, you are God's chosen people. You are Israelite according to the Bible. You're not a Mexican. Come over here and learn your history. This Bible is your history book. So up. don't leave. Jose, don't leave, brother. You got to let them cigarettes go. Listen to what God said again. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God has chosen you so-called Mexicans. God has chosen you so-called African Americans. You so-called Puerto Ricans. You so-called Hispanics. To be a special people. To be a holy people. To be separate from all other people that are all upon the face of the earth. You are God's chosen people. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Hosea, you are a holy people, brother. And you got to let them cigarettes go. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God has chosen you, Hosea. He's chosen you to stand up to rule this earth. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. You are special, Hosea. You are special unto the most high God. And you got to let them cigarettes go. You got to come amongst your brothers so we can help build you up. So we can rule this earth. You understand? We're at the bottom right now because we broke the commandments. But God said that we are holy. God said that we are special people. And we got to have that in our minds. The so-called Hispanics, you are the chosen people of God. And you was brought into slavery, you was conquered because you broke God's commandments. Read on. Above all people. What did the Lord say? Above all people. Equality. Above all people. God says that the Israelites, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, are above all people. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You understand that, Hosea? You understand that, brother? You are holy. You are special. You ain't gotta smoke cigarettes. Cigarettes ain't gonna do nothing for you. Give me that scripture in Wiz, uh, Give me that scripture in Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent this word to heal them. Because a lot of our people smoke cigarettes because they stressed out. A lot of our people smoke weed thinking it's gonna take away the pain that they're going through today. But not not the Bible. The Bible says that you don't need those things. You understand, Hosea? Yeah. You drunk, bro. You been drinking and you drunk. I, I can tell. Throw the alcohol down. You don't need no more. You understand that? You got to be focused, bro. You can't be focused being drunk. You understand? You understand, Jose? Come on, read that verse. Psalms chapter 107 and verse 20. He sent his word. What did the Lord say? He sent his word. He sent wheat. He sent his word. He sent cigarettes. He sent his word. Come on. And healed them. So God sent his word to heal our people. Not weed, not cigarettes. I know, I know we're going through a lot as a people. I know we destroyed as a people. Now it's time to come back to our heritage as the Israelites. You're not Mexican. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Guatemalan. You're not black. You're not a nigger. You're the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. Hey, listen, sis. Watch what the Lord has to say about you. Watch this. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. The Bible says the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. But today they call us minorities. They say we're the minority and they're the majority. But that's not what the Bible says. Read it again. Yet 
The number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Can you count the sand of the sea? No, you cannot. So the children of Israel is the greatest multitude of people on the planet Earth. That's right. Read it again. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. A future prophecy. And it shall come to pass. That in the place where I, it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. Where was it said that we are not God's people? Right here in America, where they labeled us Puerto Ricans, they labeled us Mexicans, they labeled us Negroes and niggas, coons and porch monkeys, wetbacks. In this land right here where they was where we was told we are not God's people, there it shall be said unto them. Ye are the sons of the living God. You black Hispanics and Native Americans, you are the sons of the living God. You are the children of Israel. And it's time to wake up out of sleep. It's time to come back to God and keep his commandments. That's why we went into slavery. That's why you was conquered. Bring it on. And this land was taken from you. That's why they kicking you out of America and say we're going to build the gate so the Mexicans can't come back into a land that was once yours because you broke God's commandments. Give me that in Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. When are we going to wake up and come back to God? When are we going to wake up and keep God's commandments? We have been asleep too long in this land not knowing who we are. The prophets of God is out here right now to prove to you that you're the Israelites. If you got questions, come and ask your questions. We want your questions. We want to teach you so we can come back to this Bible. Come on. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. God said it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is now high time to awake out of sleep. You Mexicans are asleep in this land. Running around thinking you Mexican. You're not Mexican. You're from the tribe of Issachar. You're from the tribe of Issachar and you lost your nationality in slavery. Right. We've been divided in slavery. Right. But God is calling us back to unite as a nation. Read it again. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Come on. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Believe it or not, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. We are at the door. We are in living in the prophecies that Christ prophesied about thousands of years ago. About pestilence, about diseases hitting this earth, about war taking place in this earth. We are living in those times right now. It is time to wake up out of sleep. Come on. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Come on. The night is far spent. We've been in slavery. We've been asleep for too long in this land. Read on. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of dark. What did the Lord say? Let us therefore cast off the works of dark. Because we know a lot of you so-called Hispanics, you worship Mother Mary. That's not in the Bible. You worship white Jesus, that's not in the Bible. We got to cast off the works of darkness. You celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Easter, you celebrate Valentine's Day, that is not in the Bible. God said that we must cast off the works of darkness, come on. And let us put on the armor of light. And let us put on God's commandments. Let us come back to this Bible and keep the feast of dedication. And keep the feast of Pentecost. The destruction of Nicanor. These are our high days in the Bible. The Passover is one of them. The new moon is one of them. Cast off the works of darkness and put on God's commandments. This is Austin. He wants to know the description of Christ in the Bible. And he thinks he's a Christian only. Nothing else. What's your, your name is Christian? I'm Austin. Austin, what color you think Jesus is? Do you think this is Jesus? He thought he was white. That's the real. Okay. According to the Bible. Let me finish this verse real quick. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So the Bible says, put on the armor of light. Give me Revelations real quick. The Bible says, hey brother, where you going? Let me talk to you for a second. God says. 
God says that we must cast off the works of darkness. Brother, believe it or not, this is darkness. Jesus the Christ is not a white man. We're going to prove to you that Jesus Christ looks like this in the Bible. Do you understand? So casting off the works of darkness is washing that white image of Jesus out of your mind and knowing in your mind that Jesus Christ is a black man. Watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal. The Bible is going to reveal who? Who did it just say? No, no, no. Listen to what the Bible says. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Who is the Bible about to reveal? Jesus Christ. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says Jesus Christ, the hair of his head and the hair of his beard is white and woolly. Meaning what we call great today. What race of people got woolly hair, brother? Black people. So look at this image. What about him? Do he got woolly hair? He don't got woolly hair. What about this image? Do he got white woolly hair? He do got white woolly hair. Watch this. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was as a flame of fire, meaning his eyes was red. The whites of his eyes was red because Jesus Christ drunk wine. Scoot over. Jesus Christ drunk wine. Is his eyes red? What about him? His eyes is so two strikes for this image. You understand? Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So John looked down at Christ's feet. He said his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Huh? Not grass, but brass. Like a penny. Brown, right? So he looked at Christ's feet. He said his feet was like fine brass. You ever seen somebody's feet uh, brown and the rest of their body another color? No. So he looked at Christ's feet. He said his feet was like fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn something in the furnace that's already brown, what color is it going to turn? When you burn something? Black. Black. So they say Jesus Christ's skin was so dark, it looked like it burned in a furnace. So what? which one of these images look like Jesus Christ? Right here, right? So what color is Jesus? Black. I can't hear you. Black. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Black. Say it loud. Black. Say it like loud and you proud. He's a black, He's a black man. That's, That's right. right. Jesus Christ is a black man. I wanted you to say it that many times, so wash that image out of your mind. This man is not coming to save you. Do you understand? He put your people in slavery. Do you know that? Do you know your history? Did you know that the, who conquered your people? Uh, the Christopher Columbus came and conquered your people and put y'all in slavery. A white man put y'all in slavery. You think a white man finna come and save y'all? No. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. And he's coming to save the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And everybody else going into slavery. Period. That's in the Bible. Believe it or not. You think the blacks and the Hispanics are going to be at the bottom forever? That's not in the Bible. The only reason why we at the bottom is because we broke God's commandments. That's why we out here to preach this gospel, the true gospel of the Bible. God is black, Jesus Christ is a black man, and you not Mexican, you from the tribe of Issachar. Yes, Your Lord. nationality was changed in slavery. You understand? My, I'm not black. I'm from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. That's My nationality was changed in slavery. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.